I just got my new DCC EX motor shield in yesterday and so I have to do a little bit of changing here on the workbench. I had to put my soldering stuff over here and move the structure kit off to the side. You can see I got my mega right there. Got my digital soldering station there with the uh, iron right there. And what I did was I took an old uh, prototyping board and mounted the headers on there so I could hold them in place while I'm soldering so I can make sure that they're perfectly perpendicular. And then once I get those on there, I'll be able to put the rest of the connectors on here. I have the, these two connectors right here and the barrel jack and then this these, this four pin header for the OLED display. Where is it over there? Yeah, right there. I already soldered these pins on right over here. So it's time to do the pins on this side right here. So I gotta get the soldering iron out of sleep to get it back up to temperature. Okay, I have the rosin liquid flux. We'll just drop a little bit of the rosin flux on each one of the base of the pins for the first header. And then we'll go on to the next header when we're finished with the first. And that second one I gotta address a little bit because it's it's not good enough. So I gotta touch it up with just a little bit more solder. It didn't get all the way down into the hole. So
I added a little bit of tape over top of the short header for the OLED display just to hold it in place while I'm soldering. So for the A and B terminals, I have a 3 16th by quarter inch piece of wood stock. I'm going to put it right there on top of it and use the tape on that also to hold it into place while I turn this thing over. And that'll keep it flush or keep it tight up on the board because that sticks out just a little bit further than the barrel jack. There's nothing to hold on to on the other opposite side, so I got to prop up the back end. Do this one over here first. Make sure that I got the the, the holes of the pin <laughs> of the connector in the right directions. Voila! That's it. Now all we have to do is test it. There we go. One thing that I noticed on this motor shield that's different from other motor shields is the A and B is reversed. On my Deke robot, the A is right next to the barrel jack on this one, the new one. B is next to the barrel jack. So keep that in mind. Now it's time to see if this thing works. Okay, I have it hooked up to my Arduino Mega and I have a MakerFab Wi-Fi shield on it. I used 16 volt DC wall wart into the barrel jack on the motor shield and I'm using version 4.1.6 which came out about three days ago which includes the definition for this motor shield. So you have to change the configure.h to address that motor shield, use your Wi-Fi on there. And then I tested it out with the uh, less than and greater than with the one for power and less than and greater than with the zero in between for power off. And everything works good as you can see right here. I powered on, looked good, and then powered off. So everything works good so far now. It's time to hook it up to the layout. And that's another video coming up. So until the next time, we'll see ya.